Hi everyone, this is Fab again from Digital Fast Mind. In this short tutorial, uh, I will cover an update for the previous one I did uh, regarding Spread Simple and uh, Google Sheets using Public Connect. Now, what we want to achieve with this tutorial is super easy, but it's pretty powerful. We will hide a product row based on a certain condition. So when the remaining stock column reaches to zero, we will automatically trigger a Google App Script function, which will hide that row. And this results in the product or the listing being automatically hidden into your Spread Simple website. So let's go forward and see how it's done. So guys, now it's time to take action. First of all, you have to open your uh, linked uh, spread simple Google Sheet file. You have to start filtering uh, products. You have to enable the filter. So you click on this row, you select all the, the rows and you click here, which say turn on in your case filter. And this will create filterable uh, rows and columns. So it's pretty simple. Once you do that, as you can see, you got filter enabled, and now you have to go back to tools, script editor, and click there. Once you click here, you will be brought into this uh, new tab, which is the Google App Script for Developers. It's basically a scripting language for Google, and it will uh, make possible to link to this file a custom uh, function which will execute on our condition. So first of all, I renamed the, here the function. I called it product ID. You can name it uh, as you want. And then I copy pasted this function and I inserted some comments to make it even simple to understand. So this is the globals variables that we need to set up. There are three. We got the variable sheet, the value and the column number. Uh, as you can see, the sheet is this, sheet one. Then we got the value, which is zero. And this is the conditional value that we want to check. So when the value of a certain column, which is the column number 16, will reach zero, something will happen. So how I, we know which column we want to trigger? It's simple. You have to start counting from left. So column A, B, C, D. For example, column A is column number one. Column number 16, in our case, is column number P. So when column number P reaches to zero, we want an action to be performed into this Google Sheet. I hope it's pretty clear. So the, you can copy paste this function. Uh, I added the just two or three comments to make it easy to understand. Basically. I will go through this very, very quick. Just uh, go for it. It's pretty self-explanatory. So basically, we select our active spreadsheet and we make a few checks. The first check is uh, that we need to make sure that this value, the sheet, is reflecting the real, uh, obviously, sheet. So make sure the name is correct. If it's correct, we will... Uh, create two value variables, which is cell and cell value. So we will get those two uh, variables. And then we make uh, two other checks. The first one is the, if the right column number has been selected, which is this. And then we also check that the value, and this is the final check, very important, the value is zero. So if the value of this cell is equal to zero, then we will hide the row which uh, where the variable cell is contained. So what will happen is pretty simple. We will hide that row. Now, once it's done, you save it as a project and you click on Run. Once you do that, this is what will happen. Let's make a, a simple example. The remaining quantity is now zero. When we hit now Enter, the function will trigger, and as you can see, we have now a row, number two, which obviously contained the value of zero into the remaining column. Now it's been automatically hidden. 
What will happen to Spread Simple website? Well, as you can see here, we will click to reload the page. And now we don't have any more the product uh, into the listing, which is pretty important because uh, as you, I said in my previous tutorial, you could still buy even if quantity was zero. Uh, what I changed in the past tutorial was uh, the availability message, which uh, said uh, out of stock. But in this case, it's even better because you can't physically buy because you can't physically see the product. So it, what will happen if now we have that product back in stock? Well, it's super simple, but uh, we have to go manually here, let's say. So you just select those two rows, right click and unhide rows. Now, when we unhide rows, even if the quantity is zero, if we reload the page, we will see it. So we will see the product with zero. So we want to unhide and set, for example, our remaining quantity. Uh, make sure obviously that uh, this reflects immediately uh, your actual stock so you can start selling and not oversell. When we reload the page now, we will see that the quantity is now 99. And uh, this works uh, with uh, all the rows. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you have any issue or any comments, just uh, do it into uh, the below description. Uh, make sure that uh, your function is correctly triggered and uh, this will work automatically so you will have a fully functional, uh, I would say, listing with quantity management uh, which will automatically hide out-of-stock products. Thanks for watching and if you like the video, please share or uh, even subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Stay safe.